the foliage on this shot. So there's sort of a theme for today, which I realized, and that's the North Conway Railroad. And this is an iconic railroad that runs through the White Mountains and it creates a lot of interesting photo opportunities. And it also is something you can ride. I've never done it myself, but you can get a ticket and you can ride through the whites. And I imagine that's a really beautiful way to see the foliage. Our first stop is where I am right now, which is the fourth iron trestle. And this is right off of Route 302 in the northern part of the White Mountains. And it's a great spot for 18 wheeler flatbed truck. My son would be very proud that I identified that. What I like about this spot is there are a lot of opportunities for photography. You can do a straight on shot, you can do an angled shot, you can do one from the river, you can do kind of creative play with the with the structure itself. And it's a really neat location because you can park your car, walk like 50 feet and you're on the railroad and you can walk down the tracks and walk over the bridge. Now be careful because these are exposed beams and you could fall. So it is important to be careful and to be you know, recognize that there is a risk there, but it is a lovely spot to catch the fall foliage. And so that's our first spot for today. Right, so it's round two of our Conway Railroad hiking adventure. And the cool thing is I actually can hear the um, railroad, the train in the background. It was just honking its foghorn or whatever we would call that warning siren horn thing. And that means maybe I missed it, which is not necessarily great. So we might get up to the top of the trail and not have the train, but that's okay. I mean, what's more to like about this? Do you see the fall foliage here? It's extraordinary. There's so many leaves and they're all maples and it's golden orange and red and yellow. It's just gorgeous. So I could not ask for anything more. It's a perfect day, maybe a little humid. I would love a little more crispness to the day but I am not complaining. It is a lovely day to go for a hike in the White Mountains. Oh my gosh, how about this? <laughs> well, there went the train. It's the Conway Scenic Railroad. So I've been messing it up. It's not the North Conway or the Conway Railroad, it's the Conway Scenic Railroad. And it just passed over this trestle right here, which is really cool. And the foliage behind the trestle is amazing. And I might just bang off a couple shots here, but what a cool hike, I mean, this is awesome. Very, very, very cool.
look at this view. Holy crap. What an extraordinary view. All right, so this is a spot called the Frankenstein Trellis. Now I'm gonna walk over on the ramp here so I don't kill myself. I just can't, I mean, I'm a little speechless. Just how perfect this is. This is peak right here. People talk about peak. What is peak, blah, blah, blah. That's peak, pretty sure. So the downside is of all of this gorgeousness, I stopped to take too many photos and record too many videos of the leaves falling. And as a result, God or heaven or whatever was looking out for me and I was perfectly timed to see the train. But I dawdled and I got a little too excited to take B-roll and it was a little too beautiful down there and I ended up missing the train. So I'm not gonna get that iconic shot of the train coming down, but that's okay. Because frankly, I mean, this is just exciting and fun to shoot in all settings and with all subjects. So what I'm gonna do is head out there a little bit and see what I can do, maybe shooting the other way. But frankly, having the sun behind my back here is a really nice setup. It's probably best to shoot from this perspective and take advantage of the sun being directly behind the tracks and lighting everything, including the foliage, absolutely perfectly. So let's see what we can get here. Well, look, <laughs> I'm not going to complain. This is a pretty incredible place to photograph. And, uh, you know, it would have been nice to catch that train coming through. I thought it was pretty exciting. I actually bumped into one of my friends, uh, Instagram friends, photographer friends who was up here shooting. And she got, I think, probably an incredible photo knowing her work. But look, I mean, there's nothing really to complain about. It is amazing to be out. The fall foliage is peak. I don't think I've ever been up here with quite as uh, vibrant foliage and I'll definitely be back whether it's this year or later this trail Frankenstein Cliffs Trail is definitely one that I recommend what I'm doing now is I'm trying to find an alternative subject something other than that train that was coming through that was sort of my intended shot albeit I wasn't well enough prepared for the timetable of the train so what I'm looking at right now behind me you can see uh, it was a little bit better before, but there is some uh, tree cover over top of the train tracks, which I think is really neat because the infinity point of the train tracks and the bottom kind of framed with the foliage on top creates a neat little vibe. And so that was something I was photographing a little bit a while ago. I'm also looking at um, over in the distance, there's uh, an evergreen stand, a bunch of evergreen trees right next to a bunch of um, deciduous trees have changed color or changing colors right now and so you have that contrast of the evergreen with the with the fall foliage colors and it's interesting I, I don't think I've ever quite seen this but it creates a really like perfect line here so that's something I was drawn to so all that's to say one one thing that's kind of um, draw I'm drawing upon to get some creativity is the lens change and so this is a 70 to 300 millimeter lens and previously I was shooting with a 24 to 70 and that 24 to 70 was great I think it's a really good go-to lens but I was really using that so I could get the train tracks and the framing in this situation where I'm looking for something else I found that uh, switching up lenses creates a little bit more uh, opportunity for creativity and so, you know, for whatever reason, 
that lens change uh, sparked something in me and I was able to pick up on a couple things I wouldn't have seen differently. So I think that's always a good tip if you're finding yourself um, a little bit uh, lacking sort of the creative energy and you want to change it up, a lens change can be a really good way to spark uh, new perspectives. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk back across the trellis now with the different lens with the 70 300 this time and see if anything else pops out at me. This is super random, but I didn't eat lunch and it's getting kind of late, it's like 3.30. And so I have all these backpacking, like freeze dried meals in the back of the car and a butane stove, like a single burner. And I thought maybe I should just have one of those meals. So I pulled off on the side of the road. It's a nice little spot and I'm gonna go have a backpacking meal. So we'll see how this goes. I haven't tried any of these yet. Hopefully one of them's pretty good. Here's what we got. All right, my friends, it's time for the big reveal. Is this gonna be any good? All right, I mean, it looks like beef stew enough, right? Uh, I don't want that to dump. I think maybe I didn't follow the directions and put too much liquid in there. So that's one thing, but I don't know. Looks pretty good. Let's give it a taste. Well, look, I'm gonna eat it. The beef is very chewy. I definitely put too much water and it's more like a not very viscous soup than a stew. I think the peas rehydrated the best out of the, of the lot. Oh, I should actually say the noodles rehydrated the best. The noodles are actually pretty good. I mean, it's fine. I'm gonna eat it. You know, this is the kind of stupid stuff that I do while I'm on the trail. All right, be well, take care, get outside. Don't necessarily eat rehydrated food when you can stop at places on the way, probably a bear sandwich stop, but whatever. Really good day, fun, up to crazy adventures, good times.